Chodesh Tov. Welcome to one of my favorite places in Spot. This is called Leave Note, Lehiva Note. You can see a little poster here that someone made by hand. So beautiful. Glenn Shear, 2010. This is the closest place I have found in Israel to a place called Israelite, which is how I started my Jewish journey, um, getting more connected to the land of Israel and Hashem and the Torah. And I want to take you through these beautiful stained glass doors out to the rooftop here and talk to you about Av. So here we are on the roof. It's a very quiet moment, midday in the afternoon. I'm still in the middle of Tammuz. We are in the middle of the three weeks. And uh, I wanted to come out here to talk about Av because you can see in the distance the beautiful mountains surrounding spot in every direction. And Av is a very interesting month. It's actually my birthday month. Uh, I am a Rosh Chodesh Av baby. So I was born right at the beginning of the nine days. And uh, I'm just gonna take a little seat here and talk to you about the month of hearing. So Av, the sign for Av is uh, the Arie, the lion, the Leo. And uh, I am a Leo, I have a big mane of hair and I have a very fiery personality at times. <laughs> um, the month is the month of hearing. So in Tammuz we had the month of seeing, right? And hearing is an interesting area of healing because we can actually see with our ears People who um, are blind or have, you know, low lino or have trouble seeing can actually probably testify to this if, please God, they can hear. So if you're really listening, you can almost see what's around you. I saw a man yesterday walking through spot with a little stick and um, unfortunately he couldn't see through his eyes, but he kept listening to all the clicks and uh, it was fascinating to watch him walk through the streets with the bustling cars and people. And I was so grateful for my eyes, but I was also grateful that I could see for him, he was actually leading a really happy life and um, he seemed really present. How often are we really listening when we talk to others? When we walk into the room to speak, are we listening first, kind of checking out the situation? When we walk up to someone to talk or even pick up the phone to call someone, are we immediately giving over our agenda? Or are we taking the time to say, do you have a minute? Can I talk to you? Can I vent to you? It's very easy for us to take things personally. Oh, that person didn't even give me the time of day. Well, maybe they were busy giving something else or someone else the time that they needed. Av is a tricky month because half of the month is spent a little bit sad thinking about the three weeks and the nine days and so many difficult things happened to us in our history and during the nine days world war one world war two the destruction of both temples in jerusalem and so it's a sad time for us and we mourn all of that loss of life and of potential but it's also a time for us to heal and I really believe that there's a connection between listening better to ourselves, to what's happening around us, and definitely to other people. Because if we're really truly listening to ourselves and to others around us, in those moments we can really have peace. And I don't just mean peace. Peace is not just like when things are quiet and you can really like just hear nothingness. Peace is actually when two people can share and also see the godliness that's inside of both entities. There's a letter sheen, right? The three-prong letter. So one side is one person, another side is another person, and the middle, the middle is actually God, and it's actually invisible. If I'm talking to this person, but I know God is always between us, then I can't help but see the godliness in that person at all times. It's actually not there, and therefore we have peace. Peace, right? And peace, again, is not being quiet all the time, but it's 
being shalem, shlemut, being one with what is. I was meditating the other day on one of these mountaintops here in Sfat, and I was sitting with a friend, and we went deep into meditation of listening. And I said, the word that came up for me was synchronicity. I was having a hard time synchronizing everything. I think I was a little jet lagged and I was tired and I was missing some of my comforts from home. But I also was really experiencing this powerful feeling of being in Israel for the first time in six years. And it really was shaking up my soul and what was happening inside. And I shared that I'm having a hard time making sense of it all and, and, and understanding how you know different places can bring out different sides of us and i said i'm really searching right now i'm almost fighting for synchronicity and i, I realized that fighting for to feel something is not really a good space to be we have to sometimes breathe in and out and just let things be as they are and that's when the synchronicity came when i was able to take this part of me and that part of me and see the godliness in all of it and let it all just synthesize and that's what I bless us all for, for Av. Even though in the past, the 10 days represented such a difficult, traumatic time in our people's history, and in the history of the world, really, everyone can relate to the destruction that happened during that time. Not just the Jewish people, but everyone. And until we can really listen to one another and meaningfully be kind and love other people, and not be judgmental, and not be hateful, and not be hurtful towards others. So only then can we really listen in to the true peace, the true synchronicity, the true synthesizing of everything that's happening in this world. May we all be able to really listen for that and let it come organically. Chodesh Tov. Happy Av.